new to the world of crypto, do you want to get started with a Luna Bitcoin wallet? Then this video is for you. Hey guys, welcome back to Epic Entrepreneur. And today we're going to be looking at how to set up a Luno Bitcoin wallet. So guys, today we're going to be looking at setting up a Luno Bitcoin wallet. So this video is the first of a part of three, which I will get into setting up an exchange next. And then as well as trading on a Bitcoin or cryptocurrency exchange in order to earn an income. So right. The first step is head over to your Play Store and we're going to search for Luno and it will pop up as Luno buy Bitcoin in seconds. We're going to select that one. I've already installed it. So if you haven't installed it, select install. And from there, I'm going to head over to open the app. So when, it, when we open up the app, it's going to take us to the home screen of the app. There you can see Bitcoin has passed 1 million Rand in value. And then at the bottom, you'll see you'll have the home icon, explore, wallets, rewards and profile. So to get started, we're going to head over to wallets and you'll see sign in to start using crypto wallets. Get started. It's going to ask you for an email or password. Alternatively, you can sign up with your Google account or with your Facebook account. So I'm going to do it with my Google account. Alternatively, you can just add an email address, create a password of eight characters using one number, one uppercase letter. So I'll be using the Google account. Continue with Google. Unlock your device, fingerprint. There's going to say create a pin. So this pin is something that you should never forget. I'm just going to do a basic one. Let's do 0990, 0990. Okay, guys, so you're going to be prompted to add your mobile number. So I'm going to add one of my dummy SIM cards. And this is purely for instructional purposes. This account will be deleted once this tutorial has been finished because I already have a setup wallet. This is for instructional purposes. The rest of the video will be done with this dummy account until the next video of the series. So we go to next. It's going to tell us it's sending us a digital code that we'll need to enter. Okay, there you see it. There's the code. Let's enter that. Then it's going to ask you to tell us more about yourself. So we continue set up your profile. It's going to ask your country. You can select from a wide range of countries. As you can see, you can pause the video just to see if your country features. There's quite a lot of countries. Okay, so I'm going to scroll that down. I'm going to keep on South Africa. I'm going to head over to next. It's going to ask first name, surname, citizenship, and then ID number as well. Let's just add a dummy ID number. As you can see, it's taking me to a page that says I already have an account. Let's say not now. So right, I've switched over to my personal uh, Luno account, which you can see, you will see local currency, which you'll have a wallet to that you'll be able to use to deposit money and withdraw money to your bank account. They support Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, uh, Bitcoin Cash, LTC and US dollar coin. Then also at the bottom here, you'll see there's savings wallets, which you can earn interest on. If I click on Bitcoin, you will see total interest paid and you will get paid monthly um, on your interest as well as for the Ethereum and the US dollar coin. Right, let's go back, scroll right to the top. Before we get to the deposit part, 
there's this arrow in the top right hand corner you can click on that and it will pretty much give you statistics on your Bitcoin so that's a total money in total money out uh, in cryptocurrencies and will also indicate profits and loss right at the bottom so I'm purely using my Bitcoin wallet as a gateway to deposit fiat to transfer to my trading account and to trade so let's go back so the most important part is verifying your profile adding your proof of address your identification document which are things they're going to ask for and then um, funding actually funding your wallet to buy bitcoin that you'll all see in the next video as well before i transfer money over to the um, trading account you'll select on zar deposit you have the instant uh, pay you option let's say for instance 100 rand next continue with pay you they charge a fee for instant payment and then not all banks are supported in south africa at this stage but uh, we'll take a look at some of the banks capitec net bank apps standard bank investec African Bank, Bidvest Bank, and Time Bank. So FNB and Discovery Bank are not supported at this time. We can head back, mission interrupted. Right. Or alternatively, we head back to the ZR wallet, do the deposit, bank transfer. This usually takes two to three days unless you're a standard bank uh, account holder. We'll put in an amount of 100 Rand. Next. Then it will just give you um, terms conditions to let you know that it can take up to two business days understand got it right use this reference code every time you make a deposit very very important make sure you use that as your reference number when depositing money then it will give you the details luno standard bank account number branch all the details and the amount and then again make sure you use the correct reference once you've made the deposit you select i've made the deposit and this will notify them and put you on a priority list as soon as your funds reflect then another awesome feature but uh, luno bitcoin wallet does have an affiliate program which is rewards and i would love for you guys to use my code i get 25 rand and you get 25 rand once you purchase or sell 500 rand or more in cryptocurrency on luno at no extra cost to you so invite a friend you can use this code jzj5m and where you'll enter that you'll head over to the rewards enter a code you'll enter my code there apply code so guys, if I haven't mentioned anything specifically in this video that you were wondering about or wanted to know more about, be sure to drop a comment in the comment section below. Let me know and I'll be sure to add it to my next video. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. And if you haven't already subscribed, remember to subscribe, turn on the bell notification and also give me a thumbs up for this video. See you guys next week.